What happens to frozen embryos after in vitro fertilization if the couple later decides to become divorced? My name is Laura Hurd and I'm a family law attorney in San Antonio, Texas. And I have written about this subject back in the late 1980s in a published scholarly article published in St. Mary's Law Journal. And again, in 2022 in a book that I wrote called uh, divorce and estate planning in Texas, how to plan ahead for the unexpected. But in the case of a frozen embryo, would it be considered contract law, property law, or child custody law? And the answer is it's not child custody law. Primarily, they would go with contract law. And that is because whenever a couple goes in to do in vitro fertilization, they have to sign a lot of forms and documents. And those documents should address the situation of what to do with stored embryos that are not used after um, the procedure upon divorce or if the parties can no longer agree. And so hopefully they've addressed it in those written documents and the court will enforce those documents if it's not ambiguous. However, if those documents do not address the situation or it's so ambiguous that they, nobody knows what it means, then the court will rely on property law. If, if this occurred during a marriage, it's community property. Otherwise, it's the joint property of, of the combination of the two parties' genetic material. And if one party does not want to be a parent and the other one does, the court is generally going to side with the party that does not want to be a parent. So they would award the, the embryo to that parent and that parent could then um, destroy the property or they could continue to keep it in storage indefinitely as long as they pay the fee. But the, the um, bottom line is, it's something that really needs to be discussed while the couple still gets along before it comes up in divorce or upon the death of one of the parties.